Hi and welcome to this series where I'm going through the IT management approaches, models, methodologies, activities and practices. I'll be giving you the main headline points, the base foundation knowledge you need to know about. Okay, so I'm going to be discussing some of my real world applications of these activities in various organisations as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and click the bell to get those updates. So today I'm going to be cover covering off some of the more key concepts within SIAM, Service Integration and Management. We've already covered off SIAM layers, SIAM structures, drivers in previous videos, and I've done some of the other roadmap uh, videos as well. But this one, specifically in terms of the roadmap, we're going to look at the implementation stage. So this is all about thinking through how are you going to make this happen? Are you going to go as a big bang approach all in one go? Are you going to do it phased and iterative? We'll discuss some of the pros and cons of each and we'll talk around transition, the people part of it. So there's change happening here. So there's organizational change management approaches, something called ADCAR. We'll talk about that um, later. Also service providers, maybe there's new service providers coming into the ecosystem or maybe you, you've got to say goodbye to some of them as well. And really just making sure you've captured the risks and things like uh, uh, staff to pay regulations would start to come into this. As with all the various stages within the roadmap, there's four stages. You've got discovery and strategy, plan and build. I've done previous videos on those. You've got implement, which is what we're going to talk about now. And you've got run and improve. And within each stage, there are various elements that are talked through and discussed and, and agreed. And those are things like the objectives, what those triggers are for that stage, what the inputs are, what the outputs are, and what the various activities are. So let's kick off with objectives. So you might not be uh, uh, surprised to know that the, the objectives of implement is about making it happen. It's managing the transition from where it is at the moment into this new state, this new ecosystem, this new SIAM environment. So you've completed your what is the as is state in your discovery and strategy phase. Where are we now? And this is about where do we want to be? How are we going to actually do it? Let's execute the plans now and implement it. So it's very much going from uh, where you are now to the the new outcome, the new desired state within the ecosystem, the SIAM model. The triggers, so typically you will have gone through your discovery and strategy stages and your plan and build stages, of course. So those will be the triggers. Once you've got, once you've found out about it, once you've planned it, once you've thought it through, once you've built the, um, uh, the model, this is, this is now the implementation and that would be the trigger. It can, it can depend as to when this happens. It will be a combination of the customer's um, uh, situation. There may be some external events there. Some of them may be well out of your control. They may be out of the customer's control as well. But typically you're going to be thinking uh, through things like perhaps one of those service providers um, or, or maybe a service integrator, the, the, there's a contractual element there in terms of it's come to an end, maybe. Or maybe they've gone out of business, maybe they've gone bust, maybe they've stopped trading for whatever reason. That might invoke it very, very quickly. We need to do something. And then there's organisational changes as well. So perhaps the organisation has been bought out. Maybe there's a buyout of some kind, a hostile takeover bid, perhaps, or whatever it may be. There, there could be some big organisational changes that are market changes even. The inputs to this stage. So we've already we, we've already talked about the 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 triggers here will have will have come from the um, uh, the inputs. Uh, the, and the outputs from the discovery and the strategy and the plan and build stages. So those those stages will have provided that that information coming in. The the activity. So this is where it starts to happen now. So 
you're now thinking through, okay, well, how are we going to do this? Do we do it all in one go? Or do we perhaps stage it somehow or think through parts that parts of the business or parts of an organization or a group, perhaps? Maybe it's even certain services that, that could be done one at a time. But th there's kind of two approaches. You've got the big bang approach and then you, you've got a, a phased approach, maybe an iterative or a logical section of some kind. Each one has pros and cons. Big bang very quickly. Clearly you're doing it all in one go. There may, there may be some disruption there, but the drivers could be one of time. It needs to happen within six months. That's it, it has to happen. So there's perhaps not time to stretch it out so over a 12 month period or an 18 month period or whatever. It, it's gotta be done and dusted within um, six months. So you, you may go for a big bang approach there perhaps. Um, taking into account and recognizing the risk there around the organization and, and the input, um, impact from an operational perspective, maybe. The other view is to take maybe a more iterative, a logical section of some kind, perhaps that's a service provider at a time, perhaps that's a country at a time or a department at a time. Maybe you're thinking, I tell you what, let's do payroll first, then legal, then HR, then facilities, then maintenance, then billing, then finance, then property, then transport, and then finally let's do sales and marketing. Just as an example, and that's certainly something I've, I've seen in other organizations, those were the phases that we said, okay, let's split this down into departments, business unit departments, and, and go through each one at a time. Just a slight aside, and, and I talk from experience here, if you're doing the phased approach, clearly it's less disruptive, it's usually gonna take longer. Um, the other thing to really kind of think through is that if you if you're stretching it out let's say over a 12 month period of time for the sake of argument you may be in a situation where you've got some service providers that are not part of the ecosystem so you've got this model you've moved the customer into this new model but actually you've got perhaps half a dozen service providers that are outside of the ecosystem. And that brings collaboration challenges, that brings a different set of challenges. So you must weigh up the pros and cons, but broadly speaking, you need to think through what's the implementation approach, big bang, or do you cut it up? The other element there, the, the other element to consider within the activities is the transition um, to the approved SIA model, and then the organizational change element of, of that. So if we think through the transition to the approved SIA model for a, for a moment, so it's clearly gonna be dependent on which way you go about implementing this. Are you gonna split it up into a um, some kind of logical section or a phased or staged type approach, or are you gonna do it all in big, you know, in one, uh, one big bang all, all in one, one go but you're going to be involved in things like thinking through the processes and the supporting infrastructure you're going to start doing some of those things you're going to be transitioning new um, companies into the ecosystem new service providers and you're going to be perhaps retiring some of those that are not going to be be part so there's two elements there you've got an onboarding piece and you you've got an offboarding piece Clearly, you want to be thinking through your uh, um, execution steps and how successful are they and are, are you on target? Are you achieving those? And uh, as well as your tool sets and are all the processes working between all of the service providers working well? Is the tool set working? Maybe you're lucky and everyone's using a common tool set. Perhaps not and there's a level of integration and, and process alignment needs to be considered there. How's that, that going? This isn't a small area. This is where the rubber hits the road. This is, this is a large exercise. You've got lots of moving parts. You've got service providers, external service providers and internal service providers. You've got the actual services themselves. You've got models. You've got racy matrices floating around in terms of who's doing what um uh, tooling practices and approaches your structural elements so perhaps there's there's governance boards there or there's working groups um to consider around you've got the actual contracts and your agreements and the governance maybe there's corporate governance maybe there's regulatory or state governance or maybe you've got some health insurance or um, health data requirements or you've got some 
uh, financial uh, governance requirements in terms of Sarbane Oxley, but that's where you, where this is the rubber is now hit, hitting the road, and then performance management and reporting. How are you demonstrating you are delivering value to the customer? You want to be thinking through collaborative KPIs and end-to-end -end service demonstration. And then the other um, piece to, to really consider is, is around organisational change management. So this is, again, this is where it's starting to happen now. So you've already started that process earlier on in the, in the step just before the implement uh, stage, which is the plan and build stage. So hopefully you've, you've now got a, a, um, a good idea as to how are we going to do it. And there's, there's techniques, there's, there's something called the ADCAR model where you consider the awareness, you consider desire, you consider knowledge, you consider ability, and you can consider reinforcement as to how do you bring people along on that journey, that organisational change management, how do you how do you manage people? How do you get people to to come on board with this and and uh, move along through those various stages? So there's things like awareness campaigns or uh, regular communication. Maybe there's an email. Maybe there's an intranet. Maybe there's a notice board. Maybe there's meeting. What, whatever it is, you're, you're thinking through. Are people um, familiar with how this uh, model is now working? Do they need any training in terms of uh, um, th this new approach and also measuring that as well but it's it's definitely about um, thinking through how are you going to be bringing people along and this ad car technique is is a really good uh, um, a good way of, of minimizing organizational impact in terms of uh, of people and then the final stage is outputs. So just as a recap, there's four stages in the roadmap. You've got discovery and strategy, plan and build, implement, which is what we're talking about. And then you've got the run and improve. And then within each one of those, you have objectives, triggers, inputs, activities, and outputs. Clearly the outputs here from the implementation stage is that the model is live. You've done it. it, it it's now in place. It's working. Everybody knows what they're doing. Everybody's clear. And, and it's it's operational. Just to, to reiterate the point earlier there, if you do go for a phased approach, it is technically possible. You can be in this implementation stage, but you've still got service providers that are outside of the, 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 the SIAM model technically. They're outside of the ecosystem in terms of SIAM, but you are in, in that implementation stage. So again, just do consider the approach of how you do this big bang get everyone in in one go or the phased approach and you you may end up with that situation where you've got um service providers outside but the output here is you've done it it's operating everyone knows what they're doing it's supported and and um, that ecosystem is is now live okay thank you very much please do subscribe and like the video